Hello guys, I'm Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are, we are with uh, part 5 from uh, car modeling with this Porsche model. That's uh, where we finished last time and uh, today we are gonna do the back bumper. Still a, pre a pretty hard shape to do. After that uh, maybe uh, everything else is gonna be much easier than uh, modeling of, the, of these panels. Now I can go to words, I'm gonna select everything and then extrude, let's go to a point like that. Maybe I'm gonna scale everything on the Z axis, something like that, GZ, so I'm going a little bit lower. Now of course things are not that straight, but I got an, the, the idea of the shapes. So something like that, I'm gonna select every single edge, uh, scale on x-axis, so I can uh, pretty much match the things going on around here. I've done, a, I've, done, I've done a test for this kind of shape. And now what's happening, it's that we have to go to a point like that. The shapes are going uh, like this, it's not the same as here. Um, for a better view, because we, we also see what's in the front with the front bumper and everything. I'm gonna go to viewport shading and if I check back face cooling, uh, cooling now we, we are not seeing those shapes. They are, they are unnecessary. Like it's, it's not helping us. It's just getting much more than we, than we need on the, on the viewport and that's not so, uh, so wanted. Here we are, we are gonna have to, to adjust a little bit the, the things, but that's gonna happen when, when we add much more uh, geometry, like let me just put two edge loops around here. And for the moment, I'm just gonna move them along. After that, I'm gonna adjust everything. So we, as always, we take everything step by step. Like uh, we start with less geometry as as less geometry as we, we can get. And then after we just hit the lines one by one where where we need to to get with with our shapes. Like for the moment I get I get the shape the shapes around here. Of course I can put this this point already around here. Then I'm gonna look on the side view. I need to get this. Maybe I'm gonna just slide along the points. So this point is gonna be right here. Let's take a look from the top view. How about that? Let's see. So it's uh, on the on the right spot. This one is it's going too much out, so it has to be some something like that. Let's take a look. Here everything is fine. Here it's still fine because I'm gonna follow with these points, this line. This should be straight here. We are creating this kind of a, of a shape here which is going with, the, with that side panel for the diffuser. Okay, everything else should be pretty fine for, for the moment. And uh, maybe I'm gonna slide the point a little bit like that. Let's take a look at the photo where everything is sliding just easy so I can go to the edges. And uh, I'm gonna select also these edges. Relax, I'm gonna give 25 iterations and then shift R. So everything is going on much more smooth like that. So that that's a perfect description for uh, for um, for geometry. Now I'm gonna need some edges around around this area. Like first off, I can put an edge right here. I'm not gonna adjust too much about about it. Like this one. May, maybe if you don't want to uh, to add that geometry, you can just push out a little bit the the side light from here. But I'm, I'm gonna try to, to keep it as detailed as I can. And also with not too many polys, like I don't want to go for a car model with uh, 5 million polygons. So around, if I reach around uh, 500,000 polygons, that's, that's just perfect. I'm gonna adjust this. <clears throat> so it's something like that. We get, we get a shape out of, uh, or maybe. I will take a look. I will take a look. Maybe I will. I will follow this line here, so we we get an extra geometry around go, going on around this area. Is that okay? Let's see where, where we should make. Of course, the language of my keyboard changed 
something like that gy okay so let's see for the moment that's that's what we got i'm gonna change a little bit the things around here like that and of course we, we need to add a lot more geometry like maybe i have i'll have two lines around this area so that's just that's just perfect going on but what's when i smooth i need these planes to go all around in a in a circle something like that because they need to follow the the circular line of the wheels so i have a dense geometry if i, if I have a dense geometry the lines are gonna mess up if they are not perfectly circular that's gonna be shown by the area with more geometry on it okay so uh, that should that should be it so this line should go straight until here and after that we we change the planes of for uh, for the diffuser so i'm gonna extrude on y axis scale also on y to zero so that's gonna be just straight and it's gonna hit this spot maybe i'm gonna go a little bit lower of course, we we need to create some some sort of geometry going on, going out here. So I'm gonna press Z for the moment. I'm gonna go to points. Then I'm gonna select these two points, merge at the last because the last one was this point that I that I selected. And then let's play with some adjustments. I'm gonna hit G twice so I get this shape out of the out of the area. And of course, because I created this, and that's right on this point here. I need to adjust, adjust the points to hit the right spot. So G, X, so they go exactly here. That's that's where they, where, where they should be. G, X, okay, so that's gonna be somewhere around here. Everything else looks pretty fine, like that. I'm gonna change the jump. Okay, first off, I'm gonna take all the points and I'm gonna move them on Y axis to this area. That's just much better because we, we need to to play a little bit with, with the things going on here. I'm gonna slide these points. For the first, this point is gonna go around here. And then this point is gonna go to something like that. So it's all it's all smooth. Now uh, I'm gonna select these two points going on X axis to a point like that. That's gonna stay around here. That's gonna be here. Let me just slide also the points like that <clears throat> gx you go here and i created enough space for the last point which is around here i'm gonna also slide this point to this area so i got something like that maybe they are the, the only thing that we need to adjust i also saw that that uh, the views are not matching around here it's a it's a little bit strange like here the line it's it's on the polygons but here not so i'm not gonna bother too much to to solve that maybe i'm gonna get this point a little bit more out like this and i'm gonna put also the point something like that now here we need to check what's up with you, with you. <laughs> gx so you stay here let's see how this point is doing and that's exactly on the line i see everything else pretty much on the right spot and let's see with with these two and maybe also with, with this one so they should stay around uh, this area from what i'm seeing something like that what's up with the with the lower one it should be straight so i'm gonna move it to this area i'm gonna put this here so that's the shape that we get out of it that's not helpful but i see everything is matching it's matching on this area so i'm gonna push out the points into this area something like that so I'm just gonna follow this view. I'm just taking uh, the best view that I can get out of uh, any single point. So I'm gonna select also this edge around here. And uh, for this, I'm gonna select these edges. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back view, then extrude on Y axis until this point, this edge around here. That's gonna go a little bit more out, like like that. That's That's pretty good. Now let's get to the points again, and then I'm gonna play with with these bad boys, so I get something like that out of them. And uh, now let's see. So I'm gonna get a face out of this area. I'm gonna I'm gonna select these two edges, F, then Control R, and I and I get a point. So it's also quad. 
that I just created around here. I see may maybe I can create an invisible line going on here. Maybe it's gonna intersect with this line because here that's the the top part from here is going up. It's going out a little bit more, but I'm gonna try to to match with an imaginary line that I'm having in my in my head. So I go to this kind of a shape. So of course every single point it's going like that. Let's take another look for for the photo. So everything it's it's going on straight. Maybe like this. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna go with with something like that. So every single point it's getting closer and closer to to the original shape like this. Okay. Maybe that's that's what I'm seeing. Yep. So I'm gonna take this edge, extrude on Y axis. You go here then. I'm gonna put the points into this area, like that. Let me also get these points and uh, let's see where the invisible line that I have in, in my head, it should, it should go. So it should be around uh, this area. Then I'm gonna add uh, three edges. Let's also play with them a little bit. So I add something like that. That's gonna go a little bit more up than here. We're gonna also do something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna select the three points and let's refine the the invisible line that I just got. So that's gonna be pretty much straight around this area. Then I'm gonna select these two points, G, X, I do something like that. Then the last points are gonna be these ones. So let's take a look. Let's go in somewhere around here is not following this maybe i'm gonna go a little bit lower so i selected everything from here g x and i'll be on that point he's gonna always win okay so i'm gonna select every single edge from here and then what i'm gonna do and let uh, me just extrude then i'm gonna scale a little bit that the thing so it's going out from this point because i do not i do not need to, to move every single point onto the z-axis so i'm gonna select the edge until here then going on z something like that then let's see i'm gonna select these points here uh still i do not need the snapping then z i, I will put this edge around this area i'm gonna go to two points so i'm gonna adjust the points one by one gz you go here you go here so i get something like that that's gonna be just a like this we are gonna go out a little bit with, with this point into this area everything else it's it's pretty fine now let's take a look from the side view so i am gonna adjust also the side view i'm gonna select every single point from here something like that gx and that's where we where we should match these points are going ma much more inside but uh, let's take a look from the from the top view that's the, that's the point that i'm that i'm on um, I see I, I cannot use it because I see also the top line over like here. So I cannot, I cannot use the top view for that. I'm going to use the side view. So this point, I see it's right on the line here on this spot. So I need to do just to, to match the point into this area. Everything else is just moving on with that. So that's something like that. And then they are going much more inside. Let's take, a, let's take a look from the side view. So as you can see, it's going a lot more inside. And we can, we can take a look by, by how the lines are, are going on here. So again, we are having imaginary lines. Cre create your, your imaginary line here with a, with a curve going on into this area. So I'm going to select the last points, which are going to be here. And they are... Uh, they're gonna also do a line, let's see through. So uh, it's something like that. And we solve also that, okay? Then I will select again edge uh, the edges and uh, I'm gonna select this whole edge. Extrude on Z axis, scale on Z, zero. So I'm gonna be to a point like this one for the moment. GZ, we can get this kind of a curve out like that. This point, it should be more over there. 
so I'm gonna slide it like that. Of course, I, I need also to, to get it a little bit lower like this. And these points, they should go into this area. So around here, of course, I need to... And now let's see how much I, I need to go inside it with it. So I'm gonna select every single point from here. Now, if I take a look in, into the side view, um, I, have to, I forget I didn't adjust the, the points. GX, so you stay here. That's pretty much where it should be. Okay, I'm gonna select these two points. They're gonna be here. That's gonna go much more outside. I guess it's it's on this area. So we can take a look from the, from the top view. That's gonna help us. So we get something like that. I'm gonna select also these points, then GX, and you stay here. That's where I should, where, where I will, where I could be. And I see it's not, ma it's not matching. Hmm, it's so hard, and I see, and I see this. That's exa exactly the point. Like this point here, it's, it's this cut that it's happening right here. But okay, I'm okay. We we just get over it. Now I got the shape. And I see exactly how much I, I need to go. So if I take a point like that, let's take a look. It's going a, a little, it's going a little inside like that. Let's take a look for the subdivided view. That's that's what we, what we got. Okay, get back to, to the edit. I select all of these points. Extrude Z, okay, scale Z. So that's gonna be just straight. You are not gonna play with me. <laughs> mm. Now I'm thinking if I, I will align everything from here or not. I, I need to, to move a little bit the planes around this area. So let's see. I'm gonna slide this to something like that. And of course I, I still need to, to adjust everything from here now. Because I have changed the shapes. So uh, this point should be here. So I get something like that. I need to, to adjust also. So you are gonna stay here and you are gonna be here. I cannot get a lot of distance into this area. Let's just move it a little bit on my axis. Everything from here is fine. Top view, side view, everything is playing out pretty good. Now I'm just gonna work on these shapes around here. So I'm gonna extrude everything. EZ, that's gonna be the point where I'm, where I'm gonna go. And that's gonna be much more inside like that. Maybe what's gonna help me, I'm gonna select this point and I'm gonna get it a little bit lower, like that. So I'm matching everything, pretty much. Okay, so now as you can see, the, the view it's matching. And that's much, uh, much better. I'm gonna go a little bit on x-axis with this point because I see it's more accentuated how it goes in, inside around this area, something like that. I will take a look also on the photo. Mm -hmm. It's there. Okay. So I see I'm matching around the, this area and on this, I guess that's, cur that's curving a little bit more. Here I see I'm not right on the spot. Or am I? No, oh, I am on, on this line that's created around this area. So I hit the, the right things. And I'm gonna extrude until this area, which is gonna be under the, the spoiler, which should be here or maybe let's let's just solve the issues here i'm gonna go to points and here i'm just gonna snap to to this point around this area so that that should be the the way okay you go here you go here and you go here for the moment that's gonna be they they should meet meet up here as we can see from here but that's the that's the only point i'm gonna do a cutout here for for the arms of the spoiler and maybe we are we are gonna have time also to, to model the spoiler but we are we are gonna see how we are uh, how we are going maybe i'm gonna leave this part for later for the moment and uh, mm, let's see now i should uh, extrude everything extrude on y so i should do something like that that's a quite pretty strange so I should move this this point to this area as well. I will snap it around here. Uh, but let's see. I'm gonna point this here, and then I'm gonna get rid of rid of this face. 
Okay, so something like that. Then I'm gonna go to points, okay, and I will snap the point around here. Problem solved. That's going around here, but that's going around here, so okay, I cannot follow every every single thing. It's just too much. Now let's see how how I am playing uh, the cards around here. Let's take a look onto the onto the side view. So you are gonna be in this area. Maybe a little bit on, on the Z axis, something like that. Then I should go more on X axis. And it's not meeting up. Mm. Then on Y axis, it shouldn't match what's happening on the other area. Okay. Then I'm gonna go on Y axis, so everything is getting pretty much straight around, around here. Let's just see how we are gonna follow the shape around this area. So I've created a thing like that here. Then I see it does not snapping exactly onto the, the edge of the geometry. Mm, let's see how I'm how I'm gonna solve that. If I'm getting an edge around here, oh, that's uh, that's pretty good. I'm I will leave it in the middle and then I'm gonna select it from these points and I'm gonna slide along to something like that. Then that should be the, the point. Let's see. Yes, that's a, that should be the point for, for matching. So I'm going to delete the face, then I'm going to go to edges, and uh, that's the edge around around here. Face, and I have a face, then I select these three edges, and F for face. So I created a face. It needs a little bit of adjustment, so uh, I'm going to slide this point to this area around here. This point is going to slide around here, so it's getting a little bit thinner. On that, on that spot, here I see it does not matching at all, so I'm gonna select point by point. Okay, that's it. Now for this area, everything is going pretty much inside. Now let's take a look in the photo, so I can extrude everything uh, from from this line. But let me also get some some more geometry. So I'm going with three lines here. G X, you stay here. We are gonna be here and. You're gonna be here. Okay, let's take a look from the side view. Mm. I see pretty <laughs> that, that's aligning. That's that's so cool for me. Mm. Here I need to get a little bit lower with the points. Let's let's just take a look from the side view. So I'm gonna slide around the points in the points to this kind of a thing. Let's take a look. So I see the the shape is going up to something like that. That's where it, where it should be. I like it because it's much more thinner. It's not that that kind of a bulky line. I'm gonna adjust also this point like that. And with something like this. Maybe the slope is a little bit bigger. I cannot see from here. Uh, so I need to go a little bit more inside. That's what what it was missing from, from this. Because I, I just took a look at the photo. I will show we I will show you in just a second so we see we see here i got too much out <clears throat> so we see here now we have a, a better slope because i was looking at the photo and i see here it's a visible slope it's uh, taking uh, on the, the same plane like like here and here I, I was looking at it and i was like mm, but it, it doesn't seem to be like this the same i'm gonna adjust this a little bit so now everything uh, should be should be there, and I can I can and I will select these faces around here, then extrude scale. I'm just scaling the things a little bit. Let's take a look for everything how it's going. First off, I'm gonna adjust these points. So I'm gonna go to edge snapping, and then G. You're gonna stay here. Of course, it's not matching from here, and I cannot see anything for this area because. We still have the wing. <laughs> Maybe the side view is gonna help me. No, no way. Okay, I don't. Know. I do not need any more the the snapping. And I'm gonna go to edges. I select these three edges. Base. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the photo. It's not going going too much around here, but we can go much more inside because the the stop light it's it's gonna be shown. It's gonna be visible. Mm, that's just a play from the. On the headlight headlight so i will put every single shape i will curve every uh, the shapes 
to this area like that and you go here then let's see that's gonna be uh, how i'm going about the position of them so you go like that and let's take a look from the side view now on the side view i see how how much i will i need to go with it that's where the headlights the headlight is showing up here i see i need to adjust a little bit the things like that let's take a look everything it's fine Maybe I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna add an edge loop around this area because I don't like uh, this thing not being that curved. And I can also I can also adjust it from here like that. And then the X a little bit. I can curve more this area. We see it's a little bit curved. So G Y that's gonna be the place point. Okay. Anything else to adjust? Uh, already 50 minutes. By the time it's I guess the time it's hating me. That's the the only explanation that they that they can get out of out of it. It hates me. <laughs> I was hoping that it's made to to help me, but no. Okay. Now I will I will adjust these points G Z. So I'm going to something like that. So I follow this curve around here. G Z. Here you go, my friend. I'm gonna select this point because it's it's shearing like. Let's take another look from the top view. Things are looking good. Now let's take a look how it looks subdivided. That's pretty much the shape. Of course, we are not having the creases. Here I'm gonna have uh, some things to adjust. I'm sure that's, that's gonna be a problematic area, but we got it. That's, uh, that's the shape. Let me take one more look so I didn't miss anything. So I'm gonna try as fast as, as, I, as I can to also do the wing. Uh, let's take a look, maybe, maybe I have a photo with the wing down, maybe from the top, like that. So we see the wing, it's it's meeting up on this point. That's a, that's a helpful a helpful fact. So uh, that's gonna go until this point, which it's meaning that I can select the whole edge from here, Shift D, duplicate selection. I separated the selection. Now I can select this, Maybe I'm gonna go to the point and then I'm gonna go to the top view and extrude. Mm, what I'm gonna do, I will go to the active element as the, as the point of, of rotation. So uh, something like that. Okay, maybe I can scale on X a little bit. So I match these points around here. Then I can go back to median point for the, for the moment and I'm gonna extrude on uh, Y axis to to this scale on X G. Okay, I get it in the middle. Then that's where it should stay. Now, of course, we need to, to make a lot of adjustments. Like here, I have an, a stop, something like that. I see this area here; it's following the curve, something like like that, and then it's it's going up. You solve it by doing this kind of a thing here maybe i will adjust this point to something like that so the curve is gonna be more obvious now uh, i see there's the line here it's going like that let's take a look from the side view so it's going up i will select these points this point here and i will go on the on the edge here like that i'm exactly where i where i should be now if I smooth everything, let me go to the to the edges because uh, the geometry is not helping me. Shifter, so I smooth everything. Now I have a simple plane which I can adjust much more. I should get some thickness also to, to this like that. Mm. Let's take a look. So that's just going like this. That's pretty good. Now let's follow the lines. I'm gonna select this line. We need to see underneath. Relax again. Top view is not. It's not gonna help me with this kind of a shape. Here I guess that's straight. Hmm. I see something else from from this image. That's going a little bit up. Maybe I have another photo. Uh, let's take a look from here. So that's going a little bit up here. Like we are gonna need to create a curve inside. I'm gonna go to points and let's just go little bit down like that mm, that's that that's this point here so it's going like that we've created the, uh, the best model 
that's here and you you need to go inside also so let's see g z something like that maybe this this point is gonna be a little bit up like that so i created the the shape pretty much now i'm gonna add another edge loop i'm gonna play with it a little bit more something like that maybe i'm gonna slide also this point around here because i don't like how it's uh, it's looking there by by the position of it uh, i'm gonna also adjust this point to be on this area i'm gonna go more outside with with this one and also with this one okay so let's take a let's take a look things are going pretty well and here i can get an accent of the shape by doing that i'm gonna so this point it's creating this kind of a slope around here and uh, here is just getting up i pretty much so uh, shape <clears throat> now I, I need to add a little bit more geometry around this area so maybe three cuts that's gonna be more than more than enough i'm gonna take this point also so you go here and you go uh, here this point would be onto this area and you are gonna be onto this area so i see that's that's just good maybe i'm gonna select these points here because i don't like how they are showing on the on the side view so we are, and they are gonna stay to something like that in the shape here it's uh, not so not so cool so i'm gonna select everything from here and then relax relax boys okay i'm gonna slide these points so i still follow the that that curve and now that's much that's much better still uh, i i got some things to, to solve with these points around this area maybe i'm gonna go to edges so relax there maybe one more time no just just once it's enough so that's the shape let's take a look how the subdivided result it's looking pretty good oh one hour and four minutes i need to i need to solve the geometry around this area pretty fast so i'm gonna add a cut around this area the, the point it's going on like that of course here i get a triangle which is totally unnecessary Maybe I can get rid of it by uh, I will dissolve the edge, and then the, that's gonna that's gonna continue around this area because I don't have a lot of geometry around here, so it's not a problem. I still I still have a quad there, but here I will need to to get rid of uh, one point. So this point, it's gonna yeah, this whole point, the this line, it's gonna slide along to this area. Everything gets merged. Now I need to. To get the distribution on the right spot maybe maybe i'm gonna leave this one around here so uh something like that then i will i will select this bad boy of course it's not following what i what i want and you go here to something like that let's take a look from the side view i still need to adjust a little bit the, the edges around here and i'm gonna adjust also that i'm gonna select everything from here and then that's the position that they need to take okay and that's that's a pretty uh, better solution than what i've, what I've got when, uh, when i was testing the the geometry around um if i need a point here okay you are gonna be here i'm gonna adjust a little bit the, the shapes going on here to something like that i still don't, don't like how how this thing is looking it's just a little bit strange for, for me how it's how it's going around there and here mm, that's a little a little bit complicated how i how, how i will act with it so i will get this point around here okay so i'm gonna select this point around this area we are gonna get a little a bit a bigger plane i'm gonna slide this point and then this point around here is gonna slide along this area mm, the the better thing is that i'm uh, i'm distributing the the whole geometry in a much better way like I, I can get much much more geometry around this area and also maybe i'm gonna add one more one more point around here so i can slide every single edge from, from here let me slide it but select what I, what i want not not what what you want like that okay i'm gonna add another edge loop around here so i need again to adjust the things and also these points so you go here i'm gonna play a little bit with the curves created around, around this area like that let's take a look i'm gonna go more outside with this 
and also with this we are gonna slide the lot along uh, i'm gonna select these points around here because they they changed a little bit how they how they are acting on the top view i see they're they're just fine okay so that's fine here here i can uh, get a better distribution around this area like uh, space so that's pretty good that's right on the edge so i'm not gonna adjust this point on this edge everything else just spaced evenly okay space let's see here also how we are going with uh, with the spacing i need something like that let's take a look from the side view maybe maybe i can also space this area and then i will adjust it gy that point it's all it's already there it's it's pretty fine like the way it's the spot okay space okay space around here also also with this like that everything it's even if i select the whole edge here yes it's messing up everything <laughs> and then if i select the, the edge here that's just solving a little bit of it, the problem well i like i like to play with with this kind of a thing now i have a little bit of a shearing around here but that's just gonna solve um, that's just gonna look better like that i don't like exactly how this point it's looking so i'm gonna adjust it a little bit so now they are even distributed so i should not have any kind of a problem but i still need to adjust the, the points into this area like that i see it's not matching anymore wait it's not matching anymore that so let me just adjust the, the view maybe my camera is gonna go out of, of uh, battery so that's gonna be the point where i i cannot do anything else here let's see i'm gonna slide this edge around this area like that everything else is fine then i'm gonna select the polygons delete delete the faces now let's see what what we're gonna do with uh, this because this needs to be solidified right right on the go because it's going to something like that i see i have here one light so it's gonna be something an hour and 13 i guess that the camera can withstand uh, something like two hours of recording i'm gonna get a solidify modifier let's see how much uh, we should uh, we should go i don't like exactly how the how the planes how this plane it's looking here not exactly the plane but the point like i will get it to something like that so it's playing much more smooth into this area i'm gonna get the things a little bit higher something like that let's take a look into the top view that's that's pretty pretty good like that and um, for the thickness i say it's not it's not so thick right here so uh, five millimeters should be fine something like that i also don't like exactly how how the things are playing out around here maybe i'm just gonna relax also this area something like that so the things are much more smooth everything else it's pretty good now i'm gonna solidify i'm gonna apply the solidify modifier then if i take a look into the into the mirror factor here i just got faces created which i don't need now let's see if the edges are going one, one into the into the other okay everything is good now let's see i need to create this kind of a space here i don't see exactly how it's uh it's going around here i see the just uh an empty space but, but first off let's uh let's get the thickness right so we are going with the thickness to something like that the plane is going straight to something something like that but you can see the curve is just that in the middle here it's gonna get thicker so the middle should be this this whole polygon something like that i i will select everything from here with you everything else will be adjusted later and shift z zero okay gz so it's like that from what i'm seeing i guess that that's the line that i'm following and i also select this gz let's see how i'm going with it scale z zero so you are gonna stay also straight to something like that now everything else is just uh, a smooth factor i'm gonna go into the local view because i now i can see 
better what I'm doing. Everything else should be just uh, smooth. Okay, so now relax and the magic will happen. Bam. Okay, maybe I can go a little bit more with that. Here I will get a smooth look. I will get the transition just better, but only one time it's fine. So I'm gonna select the whole edges from, from here and from here. And I, I will get it a little bit more curved. So I get them a little bit down because if I put the relax iterations, it's just gonna get to a point where if there are many iterations, it's just straight. It's not relaxing the geometry in a curvy way. So that's uh, the shape that we, we are trying to create. Let's take a look at the, uh, the smooth object. We get something like that. Now let's see how how they are distributed around this area because I don't I don't like exactly how how it's pinching around this area. I guess here they are they are fine. Okay, space mm, that's just good. Now let's let's solve the thing. Uh, I can go out of the local view. Let me answer answer divide. Uh, you can go to local view by by the way with uh, the slash key is the shortcut for local view. So you go only into one object. It's helpful if you are having a lot of uh, things. And what what else you can do? Let's say you are, you're modeling and it's something like, let's say this one, it's a, it's a whole object that you are editing. You can go into a local view um, or maybe you are selecting everything else. So control I and then hide and you are having all, only this. That's how you can get to a pretty hard spot, hard to see spot. Let's also save because I don't save the, I didn't save for, uh, for a long time. Now here I see that the, the thing is getting straight and it's getting to a point, a point like that, um, where it's placed somewhere close to, to this area. Okay, so let's take a look into the side view where it is more exactly, it's here. So um, I'm gonna select everything from here Let's see that. That's exactly. Mm, it's a little bit much, much smaller, and uh, I don't. I do not want exactly to to add much more geometry around that area. So I'm just gonna slide. That's my solution. Okay. Mm, okay. So I'm gonna take this point around here. I see that's that's going a little bit lower. Um, in some point, to a point, it's. Uh, it's meeting up again with, with this plane. That's gonna be exactly straight, I guess. So I'm gonna extrude on Z axis. Let's see how much you need to go. Extrude Z. Oh, sorry. I got another extrusion. That's not what I wanted. I already extruded the, the thing. And then scale Z zero. Okay, G, Z. So that's going on straight. That's something like that. Of course, I'm gonna slide this edge around here because that's what that's what we need to to do more exactly with, with it. Here I have some kind of a, of a bend or a slope. And I'm gonna go on y axis like that, and that's what we, what we just created. And because I have a one light around here, let's also see. So here it's just going down on. Okay. So I'm gonna insert the face around here and then delete the space. G, Y, you meet up here. <clears throat> here I need to go down down with the, with the edge. G, X, you go inside. Then we go for the edges, you go lower like that. And that's what I, what I can think of right now. Okay, something like that. Maybe I'm gonna go more on X axis and a little bit on Z axis, something like that. So we solved also this. Now let's see. I need to put the, the planes around here. So maybe I'm gonna adjust also this, this area because I need to put some holes into the thing or no, I'm just gonna insert the faces because yes. So I'm gonna go to edges. I'm gonna select this edge. Let's see where I should be, I'm gonna slide it until this point. Then I'm gonna select this edge and I'm gonna slide it to this point around here. Let's, let's take a look at the subdivided result, local view so I can see better here. 
so it's not so visible. And we can have that, that edge loop around this area. Everything is playing out fine. Okay, so that was the tutorial for the moment. Anything else should, should be easier from now on because we, we just, we've just done the hardest part. Now it's just the small things that we, we add. There are a lot of things. So it's more about time than the difficulty of the plane that we are, we are having to model. Maybe on the inside of the car, when I'm gonna model it, I will have some uh, problems with the, with the dashboard of the, of the car because it's gonna be mostly one big shape with a lot, a lot of geometry and planes changing. Uh, but that, that was the tutorial. The model will be, will be updated on uh, my CG Trader account with, with this. So we, you can follow along with that, what I've done and you can also take a look at the geometry. Maybe I forgot to, to tell something. Maybe I've done a change while, while I was not recording because I cut, I cut from the videos like 50 or 70% of what I'm recording. It's just cut. So if I'm recording two hours, you are gonna, you are gonna see maximum of one hour or in the good case 30 minutes from two hours of recording uh, hopefully you found anything helpful in uh, in this tutorial please uh, leave me a like subscribe and comment if you have any questions see you in the next one bye